What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Of course, my name is Gareth from Park Cameras and today we're gonna to be talking about something a little bit different, something we've never spoken about before. We're gonna be talking about a computer monitor or rather computer monitors as a whole. And we're gonna talk about BenQ and whether or not a good photography kind of focused monitor is actually gonna make a difference with your photography work, with your output, with all that kind of stuff. Now this is, doesn't necessarily immediately jump out as one of the most exciting things to talk about. I think that's fair enough. You know, a lens is, oh, that is exciting. A camera body, but a computer monitor isn't always the most exciting thing. It's something that I think probably a lot of us get and then forget about. But actually, a huge amount of our photography work, especially if you do a lot of editing, like I do, I love photo editing, is done with the computer monitor. And it's a hugely important part of the whole process. So it's important to get something that's good and, and, and is gonna work well with you and for you. I've certainly been guilty of this in the past. I used to have a monitor that I just bought 27 inch because I wanted a reasonably big one, but I didn't really think too much about things like color accuracy and resolution and all that kind of stuff. So I just had a full HD monitor, which didn't really offer me uh, too much in the way of color accuracy to the point where I got a second one. So I could have two side by side, exactly the same. And when I'd move a photo from the left monitor to the right monitor, they would look different. They would literally be darker and more contrasty on one and then move it over and it would be much lighter and less contrasty on the other. So that's unhelpful. <laughs> I think we can all agree that's super unhelpful and not a very smart thing to do because if you're spending money on the camera and the lens, you're learning photography and composition and all that kind of stuff and then you learn editing on Lightroom or Photoshop or Capture One, all this stuff, and then you're let down by the fact that your monitor is just not very good, that's, that's not good, that's not, that's not a nice place to be in. So let's talk about what to look for in a monitor. So there's a couple of things that I think are really important. Color accuracy is a big one because that is gonna really help keep things consistent across different devices, really help you to edit your photos, get your colors exactly right. And especially when it comes to printing, this is gonna be a big one for getting the right final look to your photos or videos as well. This works for videography as well. Absolutely, when you're color grading a video, you wanna make sure that you're seeing the right thing so that you know how this is gonna look in the final output. And then also resolution, which I think, I think is important. It's not necessarily the be all and end all, but full HD is fine. But if you're going for a bigger monitor, which I really like because it allows you to obviously you know, see more and have a have a bigger, just look at things. I think it helps with photo editing. 2K resolution is gonna really be nice, and 4K resolution just gives you that nice, crisp detail across the monitor. For me, that has always helped with dealing with sharpness, noise, all that kind of stuff, and making sure that it looks, that it looks decent. So when I'm in the office, I'm editing photos, editing videos, I'm using a BenQ monitor. And the reason for that is that it affords me really, really good color accuracy, good resolution as well. So I use a 2K monitor in the office. I've also got a 4K monitor available as well, which I really like, especially for video editing. And the color accuracy is so good that I can really, really rely on it. Now there's a couple of different parts of the color accuracy. There's sRGB, which is the standard RGB color space. And then there's Adobe RGB as well, which gives you kind of a wider color gamut. Now with the BenQ monitors, they give you a 99% rating for Adobe RGB color accuracy. So that is, that is a high rating and 100% for sRGB as well. And ultimately what that means, because that's all a bit tacky, but what that ultimately means is you are getting very accurate, consistent colors when you are editing your photos. And you can really edit that photo with the confidence that those colors are accurate and they will be accurate when you go to print the photo. Of course, viewing this across different devices is gonna be slightly different. For example, some devices may have a slightly more contrasty look to it. You know, if you view it on a TV, that might have a higher contrast or a phone or something like that, but you know that the base image that you've edited has been very consistent and very accurate, which is gonna help when it's viewed on other devices as well. Now, this is a huge thing for me when it comes to printing. I used to have difficulties when I used to print something because when I was editing on a not so great monitor, I would then go to print it and it would be, the colors would be different and it would be more contrasted, it'd be darker. The detail wouldn't have been there because actually, whereas since I've been editing on a BenQ monitor, all of my prints have come out exactly as they look. You know, all of the colors are very accurate. The, the highlights, the shadows, all of that. It's, it's, 
it's spot on to what I can then expect in the print. Now there's a whole range of BenQ monitors that you can check out with 2K resolution, 4K resolution, you know, but you can rely on that color accuracy. I think that's really important. I think that's, that's a key thing when it comes to, especially photo editing. I'm gonna pop links down in the description so you can go and check out these monitors for yourself. Pick out the right sort of size, resolution, how important is that to you? But color accuracy, ooh, that can't be missed. Unfortunately, with these monitors, really, you don't have to worry too much about that. It's gonna be there with all of these BenQ monitors. They are designed with photography editing, with video editing in mind. Now, if you have any questions about any of this, pop it down in the comments below. I'll get back to you ASAP. Of course, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there's new stuff all the time. I'd really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.